the bagel boss. You guys have all heard about the little bagel boss. We've got his whole journey mapped out, and it is an epic journey. It's an odyssey, the bagel odyssey. <laughs> Let's talk about the bagel odyssey here. Now, this guy, Chris Morgan, a very small little man. Um, how tall is he? Like 4'9"? He's a, he's, a, he's a little dude, for sure. And he's starting trouble at all places, a bagel store. Um, dude, the journey this guy's been on, if you haven't heard about this, you're in for a treat because this guy goes from getting body slammed at a bagel store to, like... Signing contracts. Yeah, he's signing contracts, <laughs> literally, in like three days. So join me on this bagel odyssey. Let's, let's start from the top. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Does anyone that to say you? that? Nobody. Women in general. Well, she, the lady's like, nobody said that to you here. <laughs> women in general. Oh, okay. This guy's like an overgrown incel. He hates women. Yeah, he hates women. Well. Let's play it. Okay, sorry. I said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Yeah. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. That really can't be true. Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. <laughs> Dude, you want to step outside? You want to step Imagine outside? Imagine this guy fighting you. Huh? I'm not standing, pal. I'm not. I'm not. You shut up, too. Shut the fuck no. up. Go ahead and attack oh. me. <laughs> hey. hey. The bagel takedown. <laughs> As predicted, it didn't take much to bring down the bagel boy. But, like, who's this guy taking him out? That guy's kind of more That's insane than the bagel though. dude himself. There was really not that much of a threat. Right. <laughs> I feel like this guy had this one chance to feel like a badass in his whole life. Like me, I know I can't win a fight against anyone. But if the bagel dude was <laughs> coming to me, I'm like, I'd take this fucking guy out easy. You know what I mean? So I feel like for him, he had this one opportunity to be a hero. He's probably a pussy. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to take this bagel boy out. So. My boss. It didn't take much either. Dude, you want to step outside? <laughs> you want to step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal. I'm not. I'm not. You shut up, too. Just like, no. Up. Go ahead and attack me, yeah. big thumb. Yeah. Oh, oh, that guy God. didn't miss a beat. I just wanted bagels. He's like an older guy. I know. <laughs> yeah. I see why he's got a chip on his shoulder. Even some old pussy with a bald spot can take his ass out. But, you know, I have some empathy for the bagel boy because I think being that short has got to be tough. It is, but this personality doesn't help. <laughs> of course. I mean, I used to have a neighbor that was short like him, but he was so sweet and he was married with kids and, like, mm. everyone loved him. It's just... Of course. It's not like a, everyone's... But of course, he, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. It's hard. But he's got this paranoid, delusional thing where he thinks everyone's laughing at him because he's yeah. short. It's like, bro, come on. You're like 45. How have you not got over that? But I guess he, he's, he, he just can't get his... He can't fuck. <laughs> he just can't fuck. So imagine he's like 45 and you just can't, you know, you can't, can't put your dick in anything. And that shit builds up. And then you're being tackled in a bagel store by some old fuck. I really don't think that people are that judgmental. I don't either. No, I don't. I think women who are looking for someone to date are. Yes, but women also overlook looks, unlike men. <laughs> I agree. There's plenty of women out there that would get down with the bagel boy. Yeah. The question is, do you think he's put his dick in a bagel? Him? Yeah. Probably, Probably right now. The right? only thing he got that's is bagels. It. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> what do you think he's doing with that bagel? <laughs> Extra cream cheese, you know? Um, so, actually, so there's another video that continues on after the fight. Yeah. Fantastic. I love, I love that he, he bounces back up and is right back to it. <laughs> so, notice here, I want to point something out to the audience. He slams the bagel down. He says, fuck all you. Then he comes back for the bagel. <laughs> and he's, he decides... Also, it looks like he cleared out the store. Like, there's <laughs> no one there now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, play. Twitter, you really fucked my shit up lately, man. It, uh, you know... Fucking 
Why are there so many workers at a bagel shop? Probably popping usually. It's just empty because Bagel Boy cleared it out. He goes back, he gets the bagel. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> You women. That's so angry. scary to have a guy like that yelling at you as a woman. Yeah. Yeah. So the so so the saga starts with everyone being like, "Yo, what the fuck? This little guy's losing his mind at the bagel store." And it just keeps evolving. You know, TMZ found him on the street, got an interview from him. Let's watch that. TMZ usually claims, are you sure you want to play that one? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. It's newsworthy, you know what I mean? Fair enough. Come on. The news is new. Well, it's let me ask you, based this on some of the other shit. videos, I just want to ask you point blank to your face, are you misogynistic? Oh, what does that mean? Like, 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 like egotistical? No, like, um, just, you feel a certain way, you feel negatively about women. I won't lie, I, most of them, yeah, because I don't trust any of them. Is that because of experiences you've of had course. in your life? Yes, okay. that's a given, my man. Let me just ask, are you homophobic? I, gays don't bother me, I can hang out with them, just like, don't touch me, especially in the private parts. Okay. Bro, no. <laughs> Didn't this all start from nobody? You beggars shouldn't be choosers, dude. If somebody's looking to touch your dick, I wouldn't say no, guy or girl. He acts like, I always love this, when these homophobes are acting like gay men are just fighting to, yeah. to beg for his dick. You know, don't flatter yourself, bro. You should be so lucky to have a gay man want to touch your cock. I have a problem. <laughs> Lastly, are, would you consider yourself racist? No, I have black friends. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth. I'm not going to lie. This <laughs> <laughs> guy's such a legend. Oh, my he God. He volunteered that, too. He just said, are you racist? He's like, nah. But if a black dude pisses me off, I'll call him the N-word. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so crazy, man. This guy's such a legend. He ticks it all off. Homophobic, racist. What was the other one? Misogynist. He, misogynist. he doesn't know what misogynist is, yeah. but he's like, "Yeah, aren't we all?" <laughs> so grew up. That's a given. My man. What do you mean? That's, that's not a word. That's just a given. that's just nature. But, but my, dude, you hate women so much. You really should be fucking dudes at that point. <laughs> a lot of these misogynists, they bro up with their friends and they should talk women. It's like, dude, can't you see that you two are in love? <laughs> Misogyny is one short stone throw away from full blown pride parade, dick out, gay, cock sucking, reach around, butt loving, gay. Supposed to come back. Uh, actually, that might be his girl. I don't know. But he's black. He hangs out with me. I know a lot of people mm -hmm. in this town. So let me ask you what is your ideal woman? What is the type of woman you're actually looking for? You mean looks and everything? However, oh, the you whole want thing. the whole package. What is your Educated, ideal woman? Not a, not a, not a, just uh, like a, you. A green not bimbo. A Somebody that you works, that? appreciates a man's money, say not a wants slut. to beat it. Was he going to say that? Let's go back. But I love how he starts with educate. He doesn't know what misogyny is. <laughs> not a, not a, not a, 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 a yeah, green you're right. bimbo. Somebody that <laughs> yeah, works, right. appreciates a man's money, wants to be there and love each other for each other. And you're not, oh, you know, well, what are you doing like for me? me? It shouldn't be based on the barter system. It should be based on pure love. If you're attracted to someone and you like their company, you have good chemistry, you have similar interests, yeah. You should want to have intercourse with a person because you like the person none of this shit and i and i said it in the video stop putting a price tag on everything that's mm. what everything's becoming and it's so you're a is, is there any air like anything you want to clear up right now or yeah just the same that i've been saying in all the videos is that stop being so stuck up materialistic stop getting offended if we go oh you're beautiful you hear all you know, women women uh, men just like i said this reporter and I'm going to tell everybody again, if you want to have a successful relationship with women, and I don't mean this in any degrading way, men just want to <laughs> eat, they want to have good <laughs> sex, make good, decent money, provide, and, 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 and do the hobbies they like. We're not complicated. But it seems like the women, and many men have said this, women making it complicated. So you heard out here, women, we've got words of advice from the bagel boy. Uh, it's not complicated, ladies. Okay. We just want to work, okay. make money, right. have sex, do our hobby. What the fuck is so complicated? I, let me apologize for all women, for this guy. Yeah. And, and also, if I tell you you're beautiful, don't get offended. 
I can just imagine him cat calling like, "Hey, hey, Toots, you look good. Hey, Toots, you look good. Let me put my head up your dress. I'm only four nine. <laughs> I'm only four nine. You don't even have to move. I'll put my head up your dress. Ah, hey, Toots, don't get so offended, fucking slut." <coughs> It continues, of course. <laughs> Inside Edition caught the bagel boy. And here he is. He Same outfit. To Inside Edition. <laughs> what, what is he, just hanging out at the corner? Everyone's taking turns? This dude shops at Baby Gap. Right? Where does he buy his clothes? No, he actually is not that small. I mean, that shirt... Look could, at him, he looks like fucking... He's short, but the shirt is like a regular man's shirt. He looks like a willow. Remember that movie? No. <laughs> he could totally be in Willow about little d magic dwarves. <laughs> I love that they pick Dude, he could their, their tallest female reporter. Yeah. He could suck her titty without her even bending down. <laughs> Do you think that a bagel shop is really the place to take out all of this anger with all of these strangers, Why public, not? innocent people Why around? Not? Why not? What do you mean take it out of the counter? Like committed mass shooting or something. That guy twice my size that women love, the bullies, attacked me. <laughs> women <laughs> love? You some old fuck with a bald spot. <laughs> Damn, this guy's a total incel. <laughs> women love the big guy. Dude, he's tiny. Look at him next to her. He's like a magical little dwarf. He's not... He's very, very, very short, but... He's kind of he, well-dressed. His shirt's pretty fire. I mean, yeah, he could totally have a normal life. He's just got to... He's got to chill. Yeah. He's got to chill. chill. Yeah. Great done talking. You know what? I, I don't really... No offense. I don't really like you that much, so this interview's over. Ooh. It turns out he's posted videos of other nasty confrontations about his height on his YouTube channel. Here he okay, is at a convenience station. store. I come in here to get a coffee, and this jackass right here <laughs> asks what is my height. In he definitely. I, I, I refuse to believe that clerk <laughs> asked him what's his height. What's your height? This dude looks so confused. This poor, this poor guy here. And this jackass. He's like, what right is going on? What is my height? <laughs> in a bar. Dragging on a in his neighborhood, oh, you try to punch a midget. guy that's half your size. Now comes the most epic battle of epic all. Epic battle of all. You want to step outside? You want to step outside? This is an epic battle. Oh, they cut it. Off. Damn. The saga continues on, my friends. The bagel <laughs> boy. Uh, New York Times published an article learning that the man, Chris Morgan, lives in a van and owns. <laughs> <laughs> and owns and runs a cleaning service. Homie lives in a van. Okay, seriously, here he is again in the same outfit. Like, literally, how did they all <laughs> coordinate this? Same parking lot, same outfit. That's probably where he lives. It's probably his van right there. Fuck, he lives there. They found out. Yeah. Crazy. He lives in a 2008 Chrysler Town and Country minivan mobile home. And in its parking lot and uses its restroom. Morgan, who was divorced, told the Post he lost his cool Wednesday while watching, waiting for his breakfast sandwich because the female workers were giggling and acting like they were in high school. I fucking, I, there's no way they were making fun of his height. No, no way. They were Wait, read around. that quote. Um, yeah. The being used by women. Being used by women, going on dates, they lie. They say they like me, and then they use me for my money. Bro, you live in a van. You live in a van. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, the guy, well, now he, he's not going to be poor for much longer. Because he's made a YouTube page where he <clears throat> is going to be raking no, in the man, AdSense. Was, yeah. Well, yeah, that was my fault, yeah. Oh, it was your fault? He's going to be raking in the AdSense because his channel's blowing up. Chris Morgan on YouTube. 2,500 subscribers. He's well on his way to stardom. <laughs> and this, his trailer is epic. I'll show Fuck it to you. Fuck you. You don't ever talk to me like that, you fuck. Oh, hey, this is Chris Morgan, the real bagel boss man. Check out this motherfucking Facebook page. Bagel in your face. <laughs> epic trailer. Wow. Fuck you. You don't ever talk to me like that, you fuck. Oh, hey, this is Chris. <laughs> I love that. Oh, hello. Don't you ever fucking talk to me like that. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, this is his official channel, so let's get on over here and support your boy. Here he is berating the... He changed the title. Chris Bagel Boss Morgan goes to 7-Eleven, it's called. This question in, a, in like two weeks. Once at two in the morning in Farmingdale at a gas station, and now here. I come in here to get a coffee and to get a donut. It's May 5th, 2019 at like fucking 5.30 in the morning. And this jackass right here asks me, because what is space. my height? Now, <laughs> These guys are so tripped out. I come in here to give, I give you guys a lot of business, <laughs> right? A lot of business. I just get, whoa, hold on a minute. I just bring this oh, to the man. counter, right? To pay for my shit. You don't say hi, how you doing? The first thing out of your mouth counter? is what's I think my it's height? On a napkin. Okay. Where are you from? What country are you from? Okay, boss. What country are you from? Okay, I am sorry. I know, I don't. Ugh, poor guy. This guy's like, just don't shoot me right <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the good news is that he just signed a deal with a fight promoter. Damon Feltman. He's going to fight other viral stars later this month. So the bagel boy is going to be getting paid soon to fight other people because he's a fighter, apparently. He's a natural fighter, as we saw in the mm -hmm. bagel store. Chris! Look at this shit. The infamous man, how are you? How you doing today, man? How did you find me, man? Dude, you're standing right here. You're pretty serious. so big! What's up? What, what is going on there? This I guy. heard rumor has that you're doing a He's celebrity so fighting boxing league and whatnot. <laughs> oh, celebrity boxing. Just a room where I'm right now. Yes. Celebrity boxing. All right. How's that? How's that going? Do you have, are you have a signed contract? He's got that, great like, sauce media right shirt on. Whoever that is is paying him. I don't know what that is. Stepping in the ring September 7th in the Manning City to show. Oh wow. You are you prepared? Are you are you yeah. training? Yeah, no, I don't need no training. I'm prepared. I, I saw that in the bagel store. You really are ready for a fight. Man, this is wild, huh? Fight against? Are there other? It don't matter. There's a, there's a possibility he may fight Antoine Dotson, who's the big deal with you guys. Wait, who's Antoine Dotson? I want to know who. That's an old meme right there. Wait, come on. What is this? And isn't that the the you'll know the window raper the, guy? Yeah, exactly. It's are the you bad freaking intruder, dude. kidding me? Yeah. This is yeah. like. 2011 memes. How did they even get a hold of that guy? Here, yeah. I'll show you. The oh, the guy who says, uh, "Hide your kids, hide your, hide your kids, hide what? your wife." Yeah. They <laughs> dug deep into the me meme annals. <laughs> Here, I'll show you guys. Hide, hide your kids, hide your wife. Everybody's got to know this. And apparently, how Shuli from Howard Stern is going to fight him, but Shuli's like a normal guy. I mean, Shuli's going to kick his ass. How is that possible that he will? This is, he's fighting this guy. What? Can't you find someone? Can you get Joey Salads in the ring or something? <laughs> you know? This is going to be the least entertaining fight of all time. <laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife, because they rape in everybody out here. We're open to fight anyone. Great Sauce Media does a tremendous job, and we're going to see who's going to step in the ring. And if you think she's going to win, forget about it. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're not training. Uh, what, 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 is, what is your strength what, for fighting? Who are what, these what, clowns? What, 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 what the hell getting is getting going possessed. on here? Getting possessed? Yeah, getting so, possessed. So, sounds absolutely terrifying. I mean, should I watch out for your hook? We watch out for the, for the uppercut? or? I, that's a surprise, my friend. Give him, give him a one that's a surprise? Let's see that one, too, bagel boy. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, Back it up. Oh, oh do, goodbye. Do you, expect, do, you, do you expect to be taunted? Do you think they'll taunt you with like bagels or whatnot? Or you never know. You never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta be honest, I'm, su I'm surprised right. at how. So the story continues to unfold. As he was invited on stage on Wednesday night at a hip hop show with artist Mano. Am I saying that right, Ian? Okay, guys, dude, this, yeah, is, the, right. this is the ultimate humiliation. He's lifted up on stage like a child from the hips. <laughs> Watch, this. Watch this. Oh, God. All right, so Mano is, is on stage, and your boy the Bagel Boy is on stage partying. I mean, he's this A-list celebrity right now. You think he's sleeping in his van on this night, or slammed his hat on the floor? He is loving it. God bless, man. He's really soaking it up. He's doing the suck it sign to everyone in the <laughs> audience. Um, oh my god. Yeah, this is super epic. Throwing his hat around. 
I wonder how long this whole thing's gonna last. I think this might be it. I think this <laughs> highlight here might be it. Um, yeah, the guy knows how to party. <laughs>